Cabbage and capsicum always go very well in each other. Yeah, I love capsicum. Yeah. It makes it more crunchy when you have capsicum. Yeah. The pasta is like, you know, in between when the capsicum comes in the mouth, like it gives you a nice crunchy feeling. Mm -hmm. This is two cups. Two cups of salt. So two cups of flour, quarter cup of oil. So you put a little cumin. Dania. Already oh, yeah. washed and chopped. Yes. Yeah. yes. So it makes the work easier for us. First you will mix everything. The oil and the salt and everything together. Don't put the water immediately. First you have to mix it all. If you have a boiled potato, you can put the boiled potato also. Also inside, you want me to put? I have boiled potato. You do the best thing you know. It makes it more softer, the boiled potato. Okay, let's see. Once it's all mixed nicely, then you can start adding the water. The cabbage also releases its own water, you know. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to make it a soft dough, like it should be semi hard. Like. Because the more you will keep it, you know, uh, the cabbage will start showing its water. Yes, yes. It becomes yes. even more softer yeah. though. That becomes difficult to roll it, no? So all the flour should, all the vegetables should all come together. Incorporate together, like how you say. And put a little more oil. The dough is ready and we'll cover and keep it for 10 minutes. So it becomes like soft. Otherwise, if you make it immediately, it'll be very dry, you know. Oil. Okay. Sesame seeds. What's this? Methi. You can put spinach also. Anything green that you like. Of your taste. Turmeric powder to give it some color. Mm. In this also, you can put uh, mashed potato. All come together now. Yeah, for half an hour. Ah, actually, it matters more than half an hour. It gets like little sticky, no? It gets wet. Yeah, but half an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes is also enough. Ten minutes, half an hour. More though, you keep the more water starts coming out. Roll it like a normal thin chapati. If you have a non stick one, it's okay, you don't need to. But mine is now getting cold, so it might stick, you know. The first side you will pick it up quite quickly. Inside, you let it cook for one side. So, until it, you see that it's all getting browned up with spots, you know, of the brown, you shouldn't start putting the oil or ghee, whatever. Let it first get fully done, then you put oil. If you put it in this stage, no, then it doesn't become crisp. Yeah, so I'm waiting for the whole thing to be cooked well. Keep pressing it, you know. 